And we're back. That's right, no white folks today, folks. Today is just Asian driver. Let's see how they do. And oh my god, as expected, Lucy Lou takes the lead. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I'm going to make a prediction here and take it to the bank. NASCAR is going to be the new Bud Light. NASCAR is the new organization that we must target and we must crush. NASCAR hates white people. How many white people sit in the stands at NASCAR races? Well, a lot of them. NASCAR has been getting more and more woke, and now they have finally crossed the line. NASCAR is openly discriminating against white people. NASCAR is saying that there are going to be privileges that people who are not white are going to get inside of the NASCAR organization. That is definitionally racism. It would be wrong if NASCAR had an all white scholarship and it's wrong if NASCAR has an all person of color scholarship, as they say. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what your race is and it doesn't matter the skin color that you happen to have. You are all precious, created by God and equal. Unfortunately, NASCAR doesn't believe in this. And so NASCAR needs to be canceled. NASCAR is racist and NASCAR is racist against white people. Here we go. What is the definition of racism? Such a uh, hell of a week when you have the definition of racism saved in your tabs. Here we go from Miriam Webster, a belief that a race is a fundamental determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Well, it sounds like NASCAR is racist because NASCAR is banning white people from their internships. Oh yeah, that's right. NASCAR is saying that white people need not apply according to the Daily Wire. Something that is blatantly, of course, illegal. NASCAR has a paid diversity internship that excludes all white people. This is effectively what that internship looks like. There you go. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not sure if she's passing, but yo. Oh man, what? who's this guy? What's going on up here in the corner? Dude, how'd you sneak in there? Look at that guy. That guy looks like he's from Finland. Okay, all right. He ain't passing. You're not passing, bro. Anyhow, nonetheless, this is a uh, utterly and totally racist. I mean, nothing against these kids, okay? Good for you. You want to go work at NASCAR? That's fine. But like, what, you're, you're a diversity hire? You're an affirmative action hire? First off, it's so unbelievably, I'm going to read through this article, but first off, it's so unbelievably denigrating to these kids. Probably some smart cookies in there. Who knows? I don't know any of these kids, but it's so denigrating to you that you needed a special diversity program in order to get into the NASCAR organization. You got the affirmative action of diversity programs. That's an insult to you and your intelligence. You shouldn't want to be a part of that. You should see that as uh, a massive attack on you. That they're they, that they're gonna NASCAR's gonna judge you by your skin color to let you in. Oh yeah, got it. All right, put up the you know put up the color board. Put your arm out, kid. Let's check and see. I learned that my my grand my grandfather from the Weimar Republic showed me this little trick. Let me see your skin color. See if we can give you something special. What a, what an insult. Okay, again to these kids who probably didn't deserve any of this. But then what, 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 what's on the flip side? What's the regular NASCAR internship? Is it only white kids? Is it like the only white people can apply to this internship? Again, if it's wrong this way, it's wrong this way. The hell is, what the hell is the problem with these corporations? How do they think they're going to get away with this? The race car giants diversity internship program, according to the Daily Wire, states that there are racial requirements that applicants must meet in order to be accepted. The first bullet point listed under the heading program requirements reads, be a member of one or more of the following races or ethnic minority classifications, black, African-American. What's the difference? What, 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 okay, what? Hey, NASCAR, why don't you define the difference there? Oh, wait, American Indian, Alaskan native. There are plenty of white people who were born in Alaska. Does that mean that they're native to Alaska? Asian, Latino, Hispanic, native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. Again, there are plenty of white people who were born in Hawaii or born on other Pacific islands that are American territories like Guam. You ever been to Puerto Rico? There are plenty of white people who were born in Puerto Rico. What does that mean? Hmm, interesting. David Bernstein, a professor at George Mason University, 
told the Daily Wire that NASCAR's racially uh, discriminatory program is blatantly illegal, noting that it would violate uh, Title IX of the 1866 Civil Rights Act. Having 100 percent quota for minorities for a position is illegal under a very generous view that is allowed, Bernstein said, adding that the potential applicant who is unable to apply on the basis of his or her race would have legal standing to sue the company. I need to apply. I got to apply for this. I'd apply for this and then I'll sue NASCAR and I'll make a lot of money. NASCAR's diversity internship program appears to be part of a broader company campaign called Drive for Diversity, which also includes race-based mentorship programs. My God. (laughs) Oh, man. Guys, we got to cancel NASCAR. I'm calling it right now. NASCAR must be the new Bud Light. Both programs stipulate that the applicants are only eligible for the programs if they're female or a member of one or more ethnic minority classifications, including white American, Asian, Pacific Islander. Okay, you heard it all before. Incredible. NASCAR is far from the only company that's imposed race-based requirements for career opportunities. There are various tech giants and so on and so forth. But NASCAR is one of these companies that is considered a conservative – has a conservative fan base generally has a predominantly conservative fan base, you would assume, right? I've been to multiple NASCAR races. NASCAR faced criticism in recent years for going woke. Last year, it apologized for having Texas Republican Greg Abbott appear at one of its races. Just this month, it suspended a driver indefinitely for liking a meme on Instagram. Uh, uh, I don't know, that made a joke about George Floyd. Some fans reacted to the suspension, calling it the Bud Light style of the racing league. But of course, this will all be up to the fans of NASCAR. You know, I got to tell you, I don't I don't actually I'm not a fan of NASCAR. Right. So I don't go to the races. If I did, I would stop. I, I like I don't drink a lot, but you could before the boycott of Bud Light, potentially at like a sporting event or something. Find me drinking a Bud Light. I won't do it anymore. OK, again, I don't like I don't really drink anymore because I don't like being hung over and so on. I'm a father and kids wake up early and all hours of the night. So it's, drinking is not compatible with that. But anyway, what I'm saying is I don't engage I don't go to NASCAR events. So it's going to be up to you if you want this to actually stick. Should boycott NASCAR events. Have empty fan, empty stands and empty fans. Blatantly illegal NASCAR hosted a paid diversity internship. So this is a photo of the internship. This is the writer who published the report uh, from the Daily Wire. NASCAR is going woke and why people are saying online NASCAR's diversity internship program stirred the pot explicitly outlining racial preferences for applicants, not preferences, prerequisites. Topping their program requirement is the necessity to belong to various racial groups. How is it not illegal? How is it not illegal? They should be sued. NASCAR needs to be sued and made an example of. Applicants must meet the following requirements. There you go. This is an openly discriminatory program, bigoted program, racist program because of your skin color. Because of your skin color, you won't be allowed to do a thing at NASCAR. Got it? NASCAR hates you if you're white. This is remarkable, just remarkable. Remember this Bubba Wallace guy, race car driver at NASCAR? You remember the hoax? The hoax and his like mewling little note that he posted, the despicable act of racism leaves me incredibly sad and it serves as a painful reminder. It was a garage pull, you jack wagon. A garage pull. It was a door pull. He said there was a noose in his garage. The FBI went and investigated it. The FBI didn't investigate a single BLM bombing, a single Antifa terrorist attack, but they investigated. They sent 20,000 agents to go investigate the garage pull. Uh, also shows how good Bubba Wallace is uh, at his sport if he doesn't know like how garage doors work. D- don't you drive cars for a living, dude? No. DOJ released a statement regarding the noose found in Bubba Wallace's garage. Video revealed the noose found in the garage. Number four was in that garage as early as October 2019 and that it was a complete fraud. It wasn't a noose. It was a garage. It was a thing that pulled the door down. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, NASCAR has indeed gone woke. NASCAR, uh, of course, uh, surrounded Bubba Wallace in, in this fraud, uh, and they perpetrated it, of course, on you and me. They perpetrated it on the NASCAR fans. Much like Bud Light, NASCAR hates its fans, but more than Bud Light, which was very much a, a value thing and sort of like a parenthood thing and a morality thing, th this cuts directly at you as a person that God created. Because what NASCAR is saying is that it hates your skin color. If God gave you a specific type of skin tone, well, then NASCAR hates you. Also, have you ever seen the fan? Have you ever seen the stadiums at a NASCAR event? Um, Got to tell you guys, uh, a lot of white people in those stadiums. So NASCAR hates you if you are white. That's what they're saying here. Maybe it's time for all the people who put their in those stands to stand up and leave and do not give NASCAR any more of your money. It is time for the NASCAR boycott. I am calling for the NASCAR boycott here. With Dylan Mulvaney and Bud Light, it was a it was a different subject, but it is the same principle. You are not allowed to take our dollars and to desecrate them and to desecrate us and to insult us and to spit in our faces. No, no. And it's time for conservatives, at the very least, to stand up in things that have we have cultural power inside of. NASCAR is one of those. And so I call for a NASCAR boycott right now. Advertising, fans, let's see some empty, completely empty stadiums, and let's see NASCAR crash. Well, metaphorically and, and figuratively and, and literally. <laughs> crash, ladies and gentlemen. Enough of this. Enough of this. Literal racism uh, projected onto our society. All men and women are created equal. This is the definition of racism, uh, and they should be ashamed of themselves. They should be ashamed of themselves. Okay? And that's how we end communism. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe, and never, ever buy, purchase, or look at another NASCAR item uh, in your life until they get down on their knees and apologize for their sick anti-white racism. See ya.